What is up, YouTube? This is Stu Dog here, and I'm gonna be doing a dual commentary using Chaos Dragons. And yes, this is gonna be the Battle of the Dragons. Here in January 2014 format, Chaos Dragons actually can compete with Dragon Millers. Um, so I start out with that light, um, that Art Trooper mill, and being able to mill Tragodia, Light Pulsar, and Dark Floor, that is an amazing mill. And um, so, yeah, so in this duel, we're really gonna see which dragons are better. Personally, um, I'm not the biggest fan of Dragon Rulers. Sorry to anyone, but um, I've always loved Chaos Dragons ever since they first came out in the Structure Deck back in 2012. And back when Chaos Dragons like were top in nationals and stuff, like Pro Winston. Um, but here he starts out with the, the trade in, the blue eyes, and the um, cards of Considence. And he's just going to summon his card, Juber. And go for a three, and uh, he mills title, divine wrath, and another uh, another trade in. And so I'm gonna be taking 1500 points of damage here, um, and being able to draw another card is pretty good. Um, so finally gonna have that live recharge. And yeah, so chaos dragons, they're kind of like my fun deck for the format. Even though um, I did change a couple of cards of the um, of the deck today, and I've actually been um, winning quite a bit games, but I still haven't played up against like. Um, Firefist or Bujins, um, or some of the other like really top decks um, with the deck. But I mean, still being able to win like quite a bit of games um, today with Chaos Dragons was um, pretty surprising, in my opinion. So it does show that the deck really does have potential, and I'm really um, interested in seeing what um, a lot of the pro players can do with the deck. Um, um, but yeah, so right here, I'm thinking about summoning um, Card Trooper or Tour Guide, and then I'm probably going to go Chaos Sorcerer and move and play his Card Trooper. Um, but yeah, so um gonna go get that Night Assailant. And yeah, so Tour Guide going to three and Chaos Sorcerer going to two is really good for the deck. And as you can see that Black Dragon um I forgot the last name, but that level four monster I have in the deck, um um in the Shadow Spectres this deck did get new support with um the black dragon and the white dragon, which are basically like gives you rank four engine really fast and being able to go excite on night really fast, like being able to summon Lila, pop a backer, and then special that um, is really good. And you can just special it um, really easily so you can go for that OTK. And so here, I uh, summon the Chaos Sorcerer, and he's just going to Raigeki break, so I'm obviously just going to Lance. And I'll be able to move, remove from place Card Trooper, so he won't be able to draw. And um, right here, I'm going to go probably a Levier to get back my Lila. And yeah, definitely play Levier in this deck, guys. And as you can see, that's a quick look at my extra deck. I did take out the Iron Chain for. Um, a new card that isn't out yet. It's a new Synchro. Um, it's a level 10 Synchro, which um, I get to use Debris Dragon and a, a level 6 monster like Light Pulsar or Chaos Sorcerer to Synchro for it, and it's really good. Um, so, yeah, so I used Lila's Effect to kill his Trap Stun, so that was pretty pretty useless card since I play like no traps. And here, I'm thinking about what other plays I can do, and I end up specialing my, um, my Black Dragon by removed from playing Lila, and um, I'm just going to banish that for Red Eyes Darkness Metal and get back my Light Pulsar. Since I'm not really that scared of Dark Hole, and even if he has Dark Hole, I still get to get back Red MD. And plus, Dark Hole, um, a lot of the Dragon Ruler decks like um, that I've seen don't even play Dark Hole. So I'm going to attack for a huge amount of damage, and unfortunately he has the Swift Scarecrow, but I mean, whatever. It's still a plus one for me. In end phase, I'll mill three more because of Lila. And, um, yeah, so I definitely got the Graveyard set up. I got the Effect Veiler too. And, um, I'm really good, feeling really good about my position that I'm in right now. Um, so yeah, so it's his turn. And uh, I kind of forget what he does. I know he has to go for a, a Synchro play, actually. So he's probably going to activate Title. And, um, hmm, let's see. I think he thinks for a while on this one, but I know he eventually summons a Dragon Ruler, then he goes for a Synchro, um, with like, I think a Flame Bolt Guard or something, I don't, I don't remember, so yeah, he does activate Title, so, <clears throat> I'm not really scared of that, so let's see what he's gonna do, and there's the White Stone, so a level 8 Synchro, and he'll be able to add another Blue Eyes if he even plays 3. And here is where we go for that new red dragon archfiend synchro. This card is really busted. Um, thankfully it's not out yet, and um, I don't know when it's gonna come out. Um, but this card is really good. It's basically like 
a scrap dragon but better because it can pop pretty much it pops every face up monster you control and thankfully I had that effect Valor because that would have been really bad because um, he would have been able to get past everything I had but that effect Valor just uh, made me win and he's just gonna activate dragon shrine to to send two more dragons to the graveyard flame will guard and a blaster I think and let's see what he does Uh, Flame will guard and a redox. Okay, and then he activates the effect, and then I Valor, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> not today. And um, that pretty much wins me the game. I think he ends up scooping slightly afterward. So as you can see, Chaos Dragons are better than Dragon Rulers. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> and he just rages. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching um, this duel, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. And expect more duels and more videos soon. Um, Stew Dog signing out.